what's going on with everybody today so we did a little work to the truck last night I didn't really film much of it because quite frankly it was pain in the butt so let's go check it out oh wow I'm gonna close that garage door because it's actually kind of cool in here it's really cool in here let me uh let me get these lights Hello. all right so like I was saying, we did a little work to the truck last night. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, so, well, as you can tell, I got a different steering column in there. Put that bad boy in last night. The old one, sitting right me. Yeah. Reason for changing this out, well, because it was all to bust it up and you had to do some funny stuff to get this thing to even turn over down there and I wasn't messing with it so we're going to see if we put a battery in it if I got all the electrical wizardry down there correct it shall turn over so let's get a battery in it and give it a shot first though I'm going to talk about something I'm going to show you something real quick I got to do brakes on this I'm gonna admit something. Your boy Mike, he ain't very good at drum brakes. And I am not wanting to do these. I absolutely hate drum brakes. But nonetheless, they have to be done. Oh, so enough yapping. Let's get a battery in this truck. We've got this one right here. It's been sitting on the charger for some time now. And uh, we probably just unplug that. Probably need a put that one on the charger but I think I might need both hands for this so let me get this over there uh, uh, okay oh that don't look good none of this looks good uh, I'm not gonna lie what's that go to there's some big wire hanging down here. What the heck? I have no idea what this is doing underneath the hood, but it don't belong there, that's for sure. So, what I'm looking at right here, I can't figure out, is just this, because it's kind of rashed up. This positive battery cable has seen better days. I have no idea what that goes down to. No idea what this goes down to at all. And yes, I'll take the plastic bag off of this, but oh, those are toast too. We have to get those replaced. So let me figure out what's going on here with this uh, battery cable. We'll get this thing turned over. Well, at least we'll try to turn it over if I got everything correct. So we got to get that back into here. I have no Oh, yeah, we kind of need that. It kind of like goes to the alternator or something. Ah, missing my half inch. Well, let's hope it's a 7 16th. Go with it. Woo! Probably a funny metrics, funny business. It was. I was right the first time, y'all. That didn't sound good. Alright, well. Let's explore that. At least it didn't travel too far. I don't think. Just in the battery tray. Whew. Found it. Honestly, I don't even know if this battery I have is any good. It's been sitting for a while. Oh, well. I think I know why they have a the battery cable there because they have cut too much off of this one and it's no longer able to stretch oh that's just perfect well, there's the amp wire right there all right well, oh man yes i hear noises come from the cab Ooh. 
Woo, we got, we got fire. Uh-oh. Ah, I jumped the gun. I, uh, didn't take that stuff off the carburetor. Ooh, I hope I didn't suck, suck anything in. Uh, oh no, we're good. But we got a mystery switch here that is not working. That's annoying. Uh, do any of the lights work? That was my next thing. So, whew, haven't seen those lights on in a long time. But the next thing is I want to see if, if any of this stuff worked. All right, floor lights work. Floor lights work. Blower works. Um. Something's making a funny noise up here. Oh. All right. I think everything's done. Oops. Do you guys need to make a phone call? Huh? Can we call, see. Oh, it's locked. Darn, I don't have the key. I bet it's something. Clear. Oh, well. I ain't getting rid of that. I'm keeping that. I'm sporting it. Sporting the old phone down there, man. Ain't getting rid of that. All right, now, here's the next, next thing. Oop. All right, so here's the next thing. Does this stereo work? No, the stereo does not work. I know the amp doesn't work because it is shut off up there. Uh, I do not have any dash lights. The headlights don't seem to be working. The dash is not illuminated. So I don't know what that is. Let's go check out front. Oh. What about this? Yeah. They work. What about this guy over here? Try this guy. A little slow, but uh, I think we could fix that. We can make that work. All right, let's kill these. What about this guy? This guy still work? Yep. Yep. Don't know about that guy. Oh, look. We got a radar detector that's working, folks. This truck hasn't seen power in a very long time. But I gotta figure out why these headlights aren't working. I hear noises. Hey, shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. You shut up. You're the one talking. Well, there's no one else here. Look, everybody, just shut up. <gasps> What's that? The wind. Hmm. I don't know what these noises are, but it's like a slight humming noise. I don't know. But headlights could be something as simple as a fuse. We'll check that out. Yeah, I'm hearing this noise. Is it this? No, it's coming from down here. If you guys wanted to see what that looked like without a steering column in it, there you go. There's picture right there. That's what it looked like. Obviously, here's old steering wheel. Very sweet that I can't use the keys, but I don't feel like pulling that lock out. Huge pain in the butt. Totally not worth it. Uh, so. My intention was to work on the gas tank yesterday, but, uh, well, ordering the sending unit right there in that box, I uh, neglected to order the actual fuel pump for the gas tank. So we don't have a fuel pump for the gas tank. Oh, it was way, 
way hotter out here. Why did I open that door? Anyway, new gas tank, new sending unit. Uh, new straps, gas tank straps, all our brake parts, drums, and uh, disc. Now, I got a hose, but I'm missing a 5 8 hose, so I gotta get that. And then, what I'm missing is that little silver guy right there with the filter on the end of that. Well, the unit I bought is just all the mechanical stuff and not the actual pump. Well, the pump is what I need because I think that's what's shorted out. This was the one that guy sent me, he gave to me with this truck. Um, would you put that in a brand new gas tank? Well, first of all, let me tell you about this gas tank before you answer that question. I didn't intend on replacing the gas tank. I was lowering the gas tank to get said sending unit out to replace it with a new one and the thing just started leaking gas on me so I had to buy a new gas tank which you know it is what it is but I also I bought new filler necks and fuel filter because underneath I want to try to show you guys this because underneath it no I wasn't putting anything new in this fuel system with the way this looks check it out yeah right there yeah, I wasn't gonna put anything new, new gas tank, hoses. I, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that because, you know, this is not easy work dropping something like this. It's gonna be a lot easier putting it back in because it's empty and doesn't have five gallons of gas in it. But it wasn't easy, to say the least. Uh, so saying that, I only wanna do this job once. So I'm not gonna go cheap. I'm gonna put some good stuff in here and then we're gonna get that thing up and rolling. Then I'll be working on those dreaded brakes, but I'm gonna show you this gas tank because this gas tank doesn't look bad enough to be leaking. And honestly, I don't know why it did leak. It has little pinholes in it. I'm gonna check it out real quick. It's in my scrap pile. There's the top of the sending unit. You can tell that is not in the best of shape. So yeah, about that. Uh, there's the bottom of the gas tank. And where did it start? It started leaking out like right in the center here somewhere but nothing was there was actually like no hole but yeah there's a little pinhole right there you can tell it's leaking out of but you know not bad not big of a deal the gas tank was fairly inexpensive i mean it was about i don't know 130 bucks maybe which is it's not cheap but it's a gas tank you know for the grand scheme of making things run it's pretty cheap to not you know go with that piece of junk out there and try to make make it work and just shell out the money put a new one in uh, just so you guys know i try to use ac delco parts on this truck because obviously everybody knows that's gm's brand because like i said i don't want to be putting one of these in again like ever so I'm gonna go with good, go with good quality parts. Ugh, I hate electrical so bad with a passion. Hate it with a passion. Can't stand electrical, but I bought some clips that you uh you just kind of like you heat them. They're heat shrink and they grip the crimp the wires on their own. Because this jack wagon, who decided it was a good idea to take the sending unit out, he was trying to figure out what the problem was without dropping the gas tank. So he put these little cuts and all the wiring harness go into that fuel pump. Little sliver cuts. And then once you get moisture in there, those sliver cuts, well, they start corroding. And then that wire gets brittle and then it breaks in half. And then pretty soon, uh, your boy Mikey's underneath the truck trying to figure out why his fuel pump is not working in the middle of rush hour on the interstate and everybody's hating me. So we're gonna cut those. We're gonna seal tight them with those, uh, not seal tight, uh, heat shrink those pretty much with with those connections, and then we won't have to worry about that problem no more. She's gonna need a new windshield. She's gonna need those lights working. I'm gonna have to do some work on right there. We'll get that gas tank, those brakes. We're driving this, but after a good cleaning. So, I felt like I had to let you guys know where I was at on this truck, and I apologize I didn't film any of that, but putting a steering column in was a two-man job, and I was doing it by myself, so. There was some profanity here and there. And um, 
it just wasn't something that shouldn't be filmed. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Mm -hmm.